Hello guys, like all the other major IT players in the market, IBM has this generative AI platform called Watson X. Watson X really makes it easy to deploy and embed artificial intelligence model across your business in a safe, secure and efficient way. Not only you can do prompt engineering, but you can also train, fine tune and build models within the Watson X with lot of ease. There are various other advantages to Watson X too. First, IBM has a large ecosystem across the globe. They have, um, in the enterprise, they have huge suites of product which gets really nicely integrated with this Watson X. Now, another good thing which I have found out about Watson X is that it is pretty rapidly evolving. It's not a stale product at all. Just this week, IBM has announced two new large language models. One is Granite 13 billion chat v21, which is IBM's own model. And it is most advanced version of their Granite with superior benchmarks in trust and performance. And I will give you more details shortly. Another model which has become part of this Watson X is Mixtrol 8 into 7 billion. And if you're following my channel, you might know that it is one of my favorite model and I have covered it a lot. And now this is also available on this Watson X. Now, there are five things which differentiate this Watson X from other providers of AI. First choices. IBM prioritizes client flexibility in AI, offering a range of IBM developed open source third party and custom model options to best fit diverse business needs and use cases. Also, IBM models adhere to strict AI ethics and data governance ensure trust and transparency backed by intellectual property indemnification. Third, IBM's expertise in enterprise ready model is without doubt. Their models deliver competitive performance with lower latency and infrastructure requirements, demonstrating significant speed and efficiency advantages in benchmarks. Then IBM's models are designed for reduced GPU use and compute power, offering environmental and cost benefits without compromising on deployment efficiency. IBM is also continuously evolving its AI offerings through research innovation and partnerships, expanding capabilities, language support and introducing new modalities to better meet customer needs as they just have announced these two new models. Okay, now let me give you an overview of how this Watson X looks like. The good news is that you can sign up for free for a free trial with your email account and you don't even need a corporate email address. I just signed up by clicking this on start your free trial and I am logged in with my personal Gmail account. On the top right, I have selected a Tokyo region because I'm in Sydney. Um, so that is the closest one. Otherwise, you, if you're in US, I would suggest go with US Dallas. And if you are in somewhere in EMEA, go with Euro Frankfurt. Okay, cool. Now, this is what the console looks like. And you can do a lot of stuff here. As I mentioned earlier, you can experiment with this foundation model and do some of the prompt engineering. You can tune your foundation model or LLM with your own label data in Turing Studio. Or you can use the familiar Jupyter Notebooks. Or if you want to visualize your data, you can use your data refinery. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you these foundation models. So let's either click on here or you can simply go with your first sandbox project as it creates you by default. So let me click on my project and you can create multiple projects, of course. So this is my project. I have, haven't done anything. I have 76 uh, token for this month for free. So thank you, IBM. Let's click on this experiment with foundation models. Once you click on it, you can see that on the top right, it has selected the model for you. Now, you can either do this prompt engineering in a structured way or you could do in a freeform way. So if you click on freeform, it just takes you this freeform way. I think for starters, structured is better because it gives you all the bells and whistles, input, output, and it shows you how it works. Now, before I show you how this works, let's select the model first. On the top right, click on this drop down. And then you can see that there are a lot of other models which you can select. Select So there are some variants of Flan here. You can go with Japanese Llama 2 or Llama 2 13 billion chat. And as I said, this is a mixed roll one, which they have just included. Or 
the gray knight chat or gray knight instruct one let's go with gray knight instruct one maybe so let's select it and then it also shows you this model card now if you read through this model card this is really fantastic now let me give you a quick overview of what exactly this gray knight model is so this gray knight 13 billion chat v2 one instruct 2 is chat one is chat focused whereas instruct is instruct focused these are the variant initialized from the pre-trained gray knight base 13 billion base now this base model has been um, trained on using 2.5 trillion tokens and all of these are enterprise level english le language model trained with large volume of data that has been subjected to intensive pre-processing and careful analysis so if your organization is big on data governance security and all that stuff then this is one of the perfect model i would say and this um, instruct one and chat one they were tuned to provide uh, improve its ability to perform rack or retrieval augmented generation especially the chat one and in this new version ibm has applied a novel alignment alignment technique for llm using large scale targeted alignment for a generalist llm this alignment technique significantly improves base model performance by knowledge infusion during the initial phase of alignment and improves instruction following performance via skills and style infusion in the subsequent phase of alignment okay now having said that let me quickly show you its benchmark so you see that this instruct one has pre-training data seen of 2.5 trillion token and on mmlu benchmark its score was 45.3 mmlu is a benchmark used to measure a text model's multi-task accuracy the test covers 57 tasks including elementary mathematics u.s history computer science law and few other things also an empty bench its score is also quite good an empty bench bar consists of 80 high quality multi 10 questions i think its score is around 7 or 6.92 something like that and that is quite good because empty bench is designed to test multi 10 conversation and instruction following ability covering common sense use cases and focusing on challenging questions to differentiate models okay now let's just select model and you can go through this on your leisure so on as you can see on the uh, top right the model is selected now in order to fill this in you can simply go with sample prompt so i'm just going to go with let's say meeting transcript summary so there you go so you can see that instructions are that write a short summary for the meeting transcript and then we have given it as an input sum of the meeting transcript on the right hand side we have given it a summary so this is all your data set and it could vary as per your own use case now our prompt is this and this is summary let's generate it there you go so it has given you the summary here and you can create a lot of other text and it has also given you all the statistics that it took around 3.5 seconds these tokens were used plus 51 generated as for summary and that's it the stop reason because end of sequence it um, finished similar with the free form if i just switch here there you go so we have written everything in one box like in instructions all of our input then we have given it bit more transcript it goes on and on and on and on and then it generates the summary for you at the end as you can see after this amazing stuff so you can see that how easy it becomes to uh, do the prompt engineering simply by giving it your data and you can refine it as your win and there are a lot of other samples which you can use from here like finance qa and it goes on and on so really cool i'm um let me select this i think and then let's click on generate with the gray knight one there you go so if i go down so this is a summary it has generated amazing stuff and the time was even reduced so this is how easy it is to you know use this one last thing i wanted to tell you look at top right it says that ai guardrails are on so you know if data governance security privacy is an issue for you then you should keep this ai guardrails on so that nothing would be untoward and then you can save it 
and use it later so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you're already using this watson x generative a platform or granite please um, share your experience in the comments i'll be very keen to know how you are feeling about it and if you intend to use it let me know in your use case i'll drop the link to the website in video description try it out let me know in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network thanks for watching